So hello everyone. Uh, let's just get this session started. And this session is going to be the cyber security master classes on your security plus questionaries. Right? It is mainly your you know Q and A session for the security plus. Okay. I am an MCT Microsoft certified trainer, certified EC Council instructor. You know, currently working as a cloud security consultant, having the experience of more than eight years. This session's main purpose is to go ahead and discuss with you guys that we you know what are the questions that are in there in the exam for the security plus, right? What is going to be in there and what kind of you know exams or the you know questions you have have to expect in the your particular exam and to motivate you to take the exam as early as possible. Keep studying, right? Uh, which area you think that you are weak and just read through those particular parts as well. This is going to be our, you know, most of the tasks for the day. Right? This is what we are planning for over here that we will be going with this one. Now, when we are talking about that, uh, okay, you know, we are going to motivate you. I will be telling you some of the things from my experience that when I have taken the exam, because if you have, you will ask me, I have taken two versions of this exam. Okay, I have gone through the exam version 501, which was the older one. I have also taken the exam of the 601 as well. So, you know, I am having that much of a familiarity that what it is, where it is, you know, that kind of a thing, right? So from my experience as well, what is going to be important in the exam that we discuss? So as I was giving you my introduction, you guys must be familiar with the infosec train as well. You know, as all of you are mostly going to be our you know clients that we are uh, you know a leading training provider in the different you know from the 2016 and we are you know having the uh, very high prof you know uh, quality training material plus trainers as well now our mostly you know agenda is going to be covering the your security plus question answers if we will look into the pattern of this whole thing so the pattern for this is going to be like you know you know you have that 90 minute of time period now, when you have that time, 90 minute of the time period over here, in that 90 minute, you have to do around 90 question, not exactly the 90 question. Some of the question will be having the higher weightage as well. So, you know, maximum of 90 question we say, maximum of. So it could be around 70, uh, 72, something like that as well. And one question having more weightage based on the thing, whatever it is, right? So there is going to be the multiple choice and performance based question when your exam will be starting both time what happened, you know, all the exam on the Linux, either it was Linux plus network plus what happened first few questions are going to be the performance based and when I'm saying performance based, it doesn't mean that you know you have to solve some machine like OSCP exam or CPENT exam. No, simple. There will be a diagram. You can access it. Or there will be a command line it will be asking that what is the IP address of uh, you know IP address or subnet range of your network or something like that. Run a simple command it will give you something or there will be a diagram below the diagram. There will be a chart telling you that what is the IP address of this and others and then telling you that what where you are pinging. This is the most difficult one which I'm talking about and then asking if you will ping this one which device you are pinging. So you have to look into that diagram what you are pinging. This is the that performance based question of the highest level in the security plus exam even you can say in the cys as well but mostly will be the thing will be the drag and drop like if in the schools i remember in my when i was up to the fifth even on the 10th class as well a 10th standard there was the questions like match the following like who did this and then you know there was the answer and i have to go ahead and mark it like this right but you don't have to do something like this in here you have to drag and drop right answer in front of that so this kind of thing is also the performance space or they will be having a drop down box from the drop down box that what is a which thing is compromised over here confidentiality integrity and availability three will be the option you have to select them so performance space when you are reading this term do not worry that you know it is going to be very technical or very high you know uh, i would say very crazy kind of a question no it is going to be the simplest one don't worry about it okay now uh, with this one what else is there 
90 question and performance base is going to be only your you know if you are having a very bad day your luck is you know taking a hard test on you so that is going to be the at max of six to eight questions of performance base rest out of 90 you can totally assume they are going to be the multiple choice question which is going to be simple straightforward and you will have around a minute of a time to think and answer okay not more than that so you know that's just to be on safe side some of the question you will be answering quickly very quickly right and yes this is one of those exam who has a very high you know scoring rate means you have to go ahead in a high scoring day less pass than low passing score why because out of 900 you have to score around 750 right so passing mark is high but exam is i will say on a basic level itself okay so you don't have to worry about if you have gone through the book you have studied the book, book properly you have gone through the practice questions you have nothing to worry about okay so what we are going to do we are going to go start and we are going to see some questions and then work with that right okay so very simple question that is going to be the equation number one which type of the control is a turn style okay and i remember the salman was the one of the candidate in my one of the last batches of the security plus and i discuss about this thing okay which kind of the security control it is it is a physical security control right why if you have turnstile are those devices if you have seen in the organizations you know uh you know let me do one thing let me just quickly grab the you know your google and show you the picture for those people who are not familiar with this one this one here like these these are the turnstile kit so what are these things these are the for the physical security right so up only an authorized person can go ahead and access this thing that's why they are in the place and you can think that this question gives you a very good answer that some of the question are going to be very easy now some of the question will be having more than one option correct and you know maybe more than one you are finding right but they will be saying that only two could be the correct answer over here that one you have to choose best two option over here okay so here what we will do we will let me just go ahead and read the question okay question number two that an information security officer at a credit card transaction company is conducting a framework mapping exercise with the internal controls the company recently established a new office in europe to which of the following framework should the security officer map the existing control best two option here if you will see one thing that is going to be pretty much sure with this one right most of these things are required okay but when we are talking about these frameworks so when we talk these frameworks out here okay okay i think it was kind of pause here okay so when we are talking about the best two one with the credit card it gives me the impression of what one of the framework that is necessary is going to be the pci dss and i have seen debates going on over this question on online as well right so here we are talking about the like pci dss is one thing second is going to be the your gdpr once you are establishing it on the europe so people can come with the you know nist is important and different things are important but you know few smaller details in the question which will be forcing you now europe okay so in the europe if you'll be seeing the one of the standard that is required is going to be the your gdpr right so these hidden hints you have to look into the question so these are small hints you have to take out of the question now next is which of the following 
two requirement must be configured for the PCI DSS compliance. Now, to be honest, this is going to be a bit tough question. You should be familiar with the PCI DSS requirements and usually in Security Plus, we generally don't discuss these kind of a thing in detail, like what are the 12 standards or 12 points for PCI DSS and all. So this is something, you know, sometimes the scope of the Security Plus exam could be a bit you know, wide. So this kind of a rare question you might find. That's why I have put it over here so that you have an idea that this thing can happen. Like if someone wants to read, there is going to be the, you know, actually your 12 requirements of PCI DSS. You can search this, these things as well. Okay, very rare kind of a question, but you might get this kind of thing as well, but very rarely. So out of this, there is going to be the two things that is going to be important from the you know point perspective of the PCI DSS. First is, Installing and maintaining a web proxy to protect the cardholders data and Second is encrypting the transmission of cardholder data cardholders data across the private network These two things are going to be over there, you know Okay, so even if I have to you know look you can go and work with these kind of a scenario over here Now, next, after third, we can go with the fourth one as well. Now, which of the following standard is certified for the privacy? Okay, now when we are talking about uh, this particular scenario over here, right? So we are talking about that what could be the, you know, your uh, privacy related thing. So when I, you are talking about the 9001 over here, so when we are talking about the 9001, it is related to your quality, you know, purpose kind of thing, quality. Uh, QoS, what we call, you know, quality services, that kind of a thing. Okay. Now, when we talk about the, you know, uh, your ISO 27002 over here, if you are familiar with the 27002, it is information security controls, right? Information security control related thing. Then there is going to be your 31,000, it is a risk management framework, okay? Risk management framework. And then there is the 27001, which will be dealing with your, what? Well, it will be dealing with your particular privacy over there, okay? So when we are talking about these kind of a thing, it is going to work with the, your, this will be the option number C. If you want to search, you can search as well. It is going to be over there, which will be talking about the same thing. Okay, so these small, small things over there that will be helping us on to the, these particular parts itself. Then there is going to be the, okay, let's just move to the next question over here. Now, this is going to be the easy one. Which of the following team is a team of people dedicated testing the effectiveness of organization security program by emulating the technique of potential attacker? Simplest one.
these kind of a lines are going to be your hints in exam as well it is going to be the red team which will be emulating or working or behaving like your potential attacker over there right so that is going to be blue team we just know opposite of your defense you know if red team is attacker blue is going to be the defender right so these kind of a things we have to keep in mind okay then yes as i can see you guys are giving the perfectly right answer white team is if you know, i have seen the b as the answer as well so let me tell you b is the team who will be deciding the rules right that what is allowed what is not okay then let's just go ahead with the your question number six that a security analyst is preparing a threat for upcoming internal pen testing the analyst needs to identify a method for determining the tactic technique and procedure of threat against the organization's network which of the following will be the analyst most likely to use to accomplish the objective so i am highlighting few points keep the, these things in mind and then answer that what could be the possible thing over here Okay, so answer for this is going to be the okay. Ah, this is my mistake, guys. This should be more like this. It should be like this. Miter attack framework. Okay, if you have heard about this thing, so we are talking about the Miter attack framework. And it is curated knowledge base and model for your cyber adversary behavior. It reflects the various phases of any adversary's attack. Okay, it's life cycle and platform that are known to the target. The tactics and technique abstraction in the model, it provides a very common taxonomy of individual adversaries, their action, which is understood by both your offensive and defensive side of security. So when we will be talking about this one, this is going to be the, you know, for T, you know, TTP, what we call tactics, technique and procedure for this one, most likely. So this word is the key here, most likely to use. So most likely, most of the organizations, they use the MITRE framework for the same. Okay. A bit of my mistake as well that I think I mistakenly tied the option C as the MTRE over there. Okay. So I will apologize for that. It should be most like this MITRE attack framework. Uh, let's just move ahead and talk about the question number seven, which will be security analysts need to find a real time data on latest malware IOCs. Which of the following best describe the solution the analyst should pursue? Right. And remember here, the key is going to be this. latest malware and ioc so the guys who will be working with the you know your SOC center, they will be more and more familiar with this thing because they are working with this thing, right? So here, what they are talking about these, you know, this is here, you know, they are written it like the threat feed and your answers are right, right? So these are the threat intelligence, TI. Okay, threat intelligence based feed that you will be getting, they will be giving you the latest IOCs, indicator of compromises. So you know your if you think about the security news and article they will tell you about the name but how to identify you know what are the indicator of compromises the ip addresses the url the you know signature that are related to that threat it will be given by the threat feed only right so this is the right answer for the particular question now let's just move to the next one that which of the following could represent your insider threat
best do answer for this one. Now, this question is going to be a bit of a sometime, you know, a tricky kind of a thing. So when I'm talking about this, right, that former employee, I think it is an obvious answer to select for. Okay, so sometime you might have to go with the multiple option like A, B, A, C, or B, C. These will be your options maybe in the exam. Okay, so they will be you know, writing it like this. That which one is the correct one a b a c b c d c so only with the a is going to be correct now we are up to that part so when we are talking or seeing like the former employee this is for sure now there is customer and there is white box hacker as well and they can also be your you know insider threat but thing is let's think about this your customer of whom facebook do you know what technology they are using no i'm customer of you know zomato uber i don't know what they use inside i'm just a customer so yes there is could be a chance but yeah i would say customer is not going to be the best answer for this scenario white box hacker can have very good information again right so again this is but this is again you know kind of same category as the former employee another could be like a contractor a third party vendor that you are having in your organization so in this scenario right when we are talking about a contractor could be the one because contractor who is working with you knows everything about you just like the white box hacker as well so if there are three options you will be going with the abd if only two you will be going with the former employee and the contractor over there right or current employee might be there is the option current employee so as you can see all the answers many of the answers are you know pretty much on the closer side so to clear those kind of a thing like options will be giving like this like a b a c then there is b c d c so a is obviously the answer and a is making a combination with the b right so i will be going with the a and b which is the closest one so if this kind of a question it comes in the exam you have to be smart okay so sometime you have to work smartly as well so this is going to be the answer a and b okay and till now you can see answers are straightforward just you know your comcia is playing here and there and many of them were the one on one line answer so you know you don't need to always get confused now let's just go ahead and talk about the question number nine okay uh, and uh you know if you you know you are familiar that we have talked about this thing earlier as well in the sessions as well like a group of attacker, they stole sensitive information in an attack. After this attack, you find that they have been in the network for several months during the investigation. Which type of attacker were these? APT, hacktivist, script kiddie, insider threat. So what will be the answer? guys so this is your a advanced persistent threat remember we have talked about this p over here that it is going to be persistent you know they are going to be sit there for a very long time right setting up the different way of accessing it and they want to stay there for a very long time so that they can exfiltrate the latest data as much as possible right so they always try to do that kind of a thing so persistent word is something that showing that the attacker they were there in your network for a long time their target is to be there as long as possible so that is going to be the 
another thing now we are having something that is again on the simplest category that is going to be the option number 10 oh question number 10 my bad what is the open source intelligence OSINT? Guys, so answer for this one first is not going to be the answer because it is talking about the way of persuasion, which is more going to fall into the category of what social engineering. B is, you know, again, mean of organization will take a protect, you know, to confidentiality, availability, integrity of sensitive data and resource. Then your D is software tool to obtain information to host. So these could be paid kind of a thing right oh yeah paid is everything good and fine but one of the best thing is available on the your you know with the search tool web search tool and the social media which is freely available you are going here those kind of information is going to be the part so neither this neither this neither this correct answer is going to be c where we are talking about the using web search tool and social media to obtain information about the target that is open source intelligence right so we keep talking about the open source intelligence so what we are doing we are doing information gathering over there so when we are talking about this this is going to be the part which we are hoping for okay so c is going to be the answer for this one right now uh, i think you know some of you might be confused you know in the nine so remember the category of the hacker hacktivists are something which they believe they are right and they will be doing to you know something like uh that deface a website a script kitty who don't know what they are doing they are just curious person insider is who already know about something that is you know they are they were your former employee contractor they are the category of the your insider threat so you can go just uh, use the reverse psychology to get the correct answer as well so there is the apt as the correct answer as well if you want okay so i'm just discussing the last question because 10 questions we have already seen and up to now if you have noticed questions are simple you just need to carefully read the question and then the option so you can go and start eliminating the option as well if you want to play like that but that will take time and this methodology is more accurate in the exams like cissp right here you know this is focus on the question that what the question want to say or achieve that is something that what we are doing over here now there is going to be the question number 11 which we are talking about uh, that any organization has been experiencing outages during holiday sales and needs to ensure the availability of its point of sale system the IT administration has been asked to improve both server data fault tolerance and site availability under high consumer load. Which of the following are the best option to accomplish this? Select two. So you have to select two options here. okay so guys answer for this one is going to be first very common thing is a load balancer which will distribute the traffic between the different different thing right your different you know web server then there is going to be your raid so raid is your redundant array of independent disk which is a way of storing same data in different places on multiple hard disks or ssds okay to protect the data in case of the drive failure so a and d are going to be the correct kind of a answer over here right 
Now, something that is going to be in there uh, that will be talking about the WPA3. Next question. And remember, we have discussed a bit about the you know, wireless, wireless security WPA as well, where I was talking about the, you know, what has been the new changes over there. So when we talk about this, so question is lengthy, but I will be directly giving you guys the answer of this one. Okay, here a local coffee shop run a small Wi-Fi hotspot, just like a Starbucks for its customer that utilize WPA2 PSK. The coffee shop would like to stay current with security trend and want to implement WPA3 to make the Wi-Fi even more secure. Which of the following technology will the coffee shop most likely to use in place of pre shared key? Right? So, you know, if you remember something from the WPA3, okay, so remember you want to upgrade, not degrade. So, earlier, very first one was the WEP. So, it was not safe. Then we come to the WPA. Right, it has its own, you know, it was modified version of this, so not very secure. Then there was the WPA2. Then there come the WPA3, which has replaced this PSK with your SAE simultaneous authentication uh, uh, of exchange, right? So this is something that has been used recently. So that's why I wanted to give this answer by myself the correct answer is going to be SAE, simultaneous authentication of equals. Okay. Now, on the same wireless one, there is a researcher that has been analyzing a large data set for last 10 months. The researcher worked with the colleague from other institution and typically connect via SSH to retrieve additional data. Historically, this setup has worked without the issue, but researcher recently started getting the following message. Which of the following network attack is most likely to be experiencing over here? Okay. Uh, okay, look like the message is missing in this question. So we will be, you know, uh, okay, we will be trying to move ahead with this one. Okay, because this was, if I remember, this was actually, you know, uh, your image based one. I forgot to put the image over here. So, you know, if what was happening in this one, it is the answer for this one is going to be the manager video. Why? So, you know, what is happening? You know, you used to connect with your, you know, things and get the data through the SSH. But now you are getting some message means someone is sitting in between and giving you the message in between. So, you know, there is not going to be the evil twin Mac cloning or our poisoning. Here it is going to be the man in the middle like someone is in middle of your communication and getting the things done over here okay let's just leave this one let me just check this one out okay that employee are having issue accessing the company's website some employee report very slow performance while other cannot access the website at all the web and security administrator search the logs and find millions of half open connection to the port number 443 on the web server. Further analysts reveal the thousands of different source IP initiating this traffic. Which of the following attack is most likely happening over there? Very simple one, very simple. It is your you are finding lot of half open connection on port means someone try to you know, connect to your port in addition to that there are multiple sources which try to initiate connection with your web server to keep it busy right so that when an authenticated you know an uh, authorized person and you know a genuine user it came your web server become unavailable so someone try to consume all this resource when what it is it is not man in the middle because in the man in the middle someone will be sitting in between Mac flooding, someone will be, you know, closing the Mac and, you know, sending the fake art request and doing that thing. Domain hijacking, no discussion of domain, right? So here it is with your DDoS, distributed denial of service. They are denying an authenticated and, you know, and a genuine user the service of yours. So that is the one another thing that is over there. Now, 
when we talk about this next is going to be the something related to your uh, very interesting concept so an employee has arrived to work and logged into the network with their smart card this employee now has access to the company's database email and shared network resources evaluate all the basic authorization policies and determine the policy you know best illustrated in this scenario so what thing they are talking about here so employee coming to work logged in the network with the smart card and they have now access to the company's database email shared network resources so what we are talking about here which feature that is c single sign on means once you are authenticated you have the access of all related apps email databases i don't need to log in again and again right so that is the what that is a single sign on that what we are talking about that you have access to the database email shared network resources everything and you know for those guys who is thinking that it should be the least privilege why it is not least privilege because least privilege means to complete my task i should be having minimum permissions that is allowed me to do like you know it will be so if my task is just to read and check that whether the file is still in my database or not not to update it or anything i should be having only read permission in the database and that would be the your least privilege concept okay and the, this one when you logged in and you have access to all database email shared network this is your what single sign on what we are talking about over here now when we talk about uh, let's just move ahead and talk a bit on the network administrator now so when we are talking about a network administrator regularly review group membership and access control list for each resource the administrator also look for unnecessary account to disable what administrator executing in this situation so it is your permission auditing so permission audit report it shows how permission on your ignite domain have changed over the time okay uh, this provide a complete auditing of folder shared internally and externally any changes they made to folder permission will be captured in the permission audit report right so any unnecessary user or account so you know you just want to disable it so you are doing what permission auditing over here that's a good one now let's just go to our you know any organization finance department that is implementing a policy to protect against collusion okay which of the following control type of corresponding procedures should the organization implement to fulfill this policy's requirement So, you know, for my candidates, I always tell a story that, you know, one person who is sitting there, right, and having unnecessary access over the time, right? So one person who is having or sitting on the same job kind of a role, he start gathering unnecessary permission over the time, you know, and start having, you know, can misuse the power on the same post. So for those kind of things, what we use, so over the time, if you keep the, you know doing the same work of the network, you know network admin, you might start feeling that okay, I am this one. I am the owner of this whole you know firewall. So just to keep power in check, what kind of things or what kind of policies organization they employed? one thing is going to be the mandatory vacations then there is going to be the job rotation this was one on in the one of the chapter in the security plus that you will send your you know users to the mandatory vacation check the locks 
okay what they were doing over the time in addition to that you will do the job rotation making someone the you know firewall manager other person the head of the ids ips or the acl control head okay so just keep changing give them the job role new job role so that no one has okay unnecessary power over the time over the organization right these are the two best practices against the collusion in any organization okay that organization they implement in the policies okay now which of the following technical control is best suited for detection and prevention of buffer flow on the host remember on a host right so it this could be um you know uh, i have talked about the integer overflow okay or you know memory buffer overflow so which is on a host means this could be a desktop which could be a best solution over there to detect a buffer overflow okay i would say this is a good question you know level of this is basic but it's still a good high amount you know i would say on a higher level i want to put this one right so you have to take help here like first a is not the solution because it is data loss prevention you know we are not sending data anywhere then there is network intrusion prevention so we are talking about the host here so we left with the host and edr most of the people will be going with the host intrusion detection system but this is not the intrusion not someone is trying to do the like you know a uh, normal attack like uh, sending a malicious thing or you know or like five or some ips or you know network traffic that you can detect and a signature which you can detect no it is something that is going to be very helpful or detect by something like the edr okay so for this one answers should be like your endpoint detection okay uh endpoint threat detection and response okay so this edr it is also known as the etdr you might have heard its name like this etdr endpoint threat detection and response it is integrated endpoint security solution that combine that combines your real time continuous monitoring and collection of all your endpoint data with rule based automated response and analysis capability so you will be seeing that it has like if you have to check uh, any file integrity right real time malware detection so edr are one of the best solutions which can help you to detect these kind of attacks like buffer overflow memory overflow on a host this is the best solution that is out there okay and now let's just move to the cloud a bit as well in the cloud there is going to be the you know which of the following cloud model provide client with server storage and networking network but nothing else okay so if you remember in you know database as a service this is das is the database as a service so yeah although underlying things will be these kind of a thing but on the top of that there is going to be some software you know which will be running right and you know updating maintaining that thing so das is not going to be the answer then das is a kind of a saas okay a variant of saas is the das so software as a service where software is also provided so nothing software like that then there is a platform as a service so in this one underlying server is going to be in there there is going to be the you know on top of that servers network everything but on top of that runtime is also going to be there runtime environment so it is not also the answer so answer is only going to be the c correct answer okay c is the correct answer infrastructure as a service is a correct answer why because this will be just giving you the storage network you know your machine so you know rest of it is your responsibility creating a runtime in it installing software updating them all is your responsibility so answer is c over here okay then the last one the you know to reduce the cost and overhead any organization want to move from on premise email solution to cloud based email solution at this time no other service will be moving 
which of the following cloud model would be best to meet the need of organization so remember at this time no other service will be moving and you want an email solution so which is going to be the best solution provided by the cloud out of these four options okay now this is something that could be so when we are talking about this usually the answer unless they will be clearly mentioning this messaging service could be something different like instant messaging service so instant messaging doesn't include your email as a solution okay email as a solution will be considering something like the g suite or office 365 kind of a switch right so these kind of a things when we are thinking about so that fall under the category of your SaaS, right so again you know this is something that is going to be the best or optimum solution best suited scenario so infrastructure is out pass is out we left with mass and SaaS. Mass is going to contain your instant messaging, like you know, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, these kind of things. While software as a service, it will contain like G Suite O365, which actually give you the your email solution. So we will be going with the correct answer as the SaaS over here, right? So software as a service, right? So these were the only 20 questions I know in a one hour, you know, giving you the time. We can discuss only these new. You know, this much as over here but still many of you are already you know uh, in touch with me you have my numbers and other candidates who doesn't have my number if you want to connect with me guys you know connect with me on the linkedin i am available with the same name rishab kotial k o t i y a l so if someone is you know unable to understand my handwriting it is Rishabh R I S H A B H K O T I Y A L. So these are the two things that is going to be the, you know, uh, using this you can find me. Okay, but you know what kind of questions are going to be there? So mostly the questions are straightforward, simple one. You just have to you know carefully read the question. You need a till now, no you know very few question were about the mark. Most of them was instantly giving you the hint that what is question all about how the question is going to be all these things were there right so this is something that is over there okay and you know this is going to be the part so i hope this particular session has kind of you know motivate you to go ahead and start solving the question reading the book come back and again try the question one more time and take the exam as much as possible so i would say Please do not just keep delaying the exam, start reading and make a target that within a month we have to take this exam. Or uh, if someone is more motivated and have the time like holidays or something, just, you know, two weeks, I will be taking the exam. Okay. So, you know, uh, this is the one thing that what I will be discussing over here. And thank you so much for joining us, guys. Okay.